Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Banished. And in today's episode, we are going to be taking full advantage of that black lotus flower that we found. Uh and getting a little bit of Botania stuff geared up for us. I'm not gonna spend a huge amount of time on Botania itself because I just did it very, very recently in my um, Minecraft Unabridged series, so I don't wanna spend too much time on it. Um, I already went ahead and made myself a pure daisy, which is pretty easy to make. Basically, all you gotta do is put four white mystical petals into a petal apothecary and then throw in a seed and that will give you one of these a pure daisy which is used to make living rock and living wood um and as you can see i also have a little bit of living wood and a little bit of living rock so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the living rock to make two diluted mana pools and I'm going to put uh, one right here, I guess, for lack of a better place to put it. And the other I'm just going to hold on to for the minute. Let's also go ahead and make ourselves, I think it's four of these. Is it like that? Yeah. So actually we needed three, but whatever. And then last but not least, between episodes, I also made myself a nightshade, which is a super basic flower that really doesn't do a whole lot other than generate mana. I did, however, forget to make myself a mana spreader. I just realized that. Let's check the mana spreader real quick. The normal recipe calls for gold. And this one does too. Oh, man. That's one thing that I don't have any of. I wonder if there's a way to get gold other than mining it. Let's just check. Okay. Pigmen. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything outside of the normal stuff. I see you hanging around. Creeping on my base and stuff. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm going to go on an adventure and see if I can get my hands on some gold. I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. I did find a little bit of gold, not as much as I would have liked. But I also spy something over there that would be quite handy for us to have. That, of course, being diamonds, which I need badly. So, unfortunately, there's some lava in our way, but I think that can be relatively easily dealt with. By simply using our magic. So let's uh, let's put a little bit right here as well. And I think that should do the trick. Let's just mine around it. Eh, it looks like a relatively small diamond vein. I bet some of it got cut off by the, uh, oh, oh, oh boy. There we go. That's too bad, but that's all right. We'll be fine. I am for sure going to want to use my fortune spell on it, though. So let's grab fortune two and four diamonds. Okay, that's not terrible. That could have been a lot worse. And I think that might just be the first diamonds we have found all game, so I will definitely take it. Uh, we are we are lacking quite badly in diamonds. But I think I've got enough gold now for everything I need, so I'm going to go ahead and head back to the surface, and I'll meet you back at the base. All right, guys, I am back, and I have some bad news. I think I might be lost. The good news, on the other hand, I've found some new shiny stuff. So, we found here some... Morganite, find some blue topaz, and we found some other stuff that I've come across before, but the Morganite is what I'm especially happy about, because there was a quest for that in the book, so I think we will probably be able to make something new and shiny when we get back to base. First, though, I gotta find my way back to base. So, guys, let me, uh, let me try and navigate my way back. And I will see you in a minute. 
All right, guys, I am back, and I think I now have everything I need to make a mana spreader. Good. Now, what we're going to do is we will place down our nightshade, like so. We'll put down our mana spreader, like so. Then we'll grab our wand and go... Bind you to you. Oh. Am I not in bind mode? Oh, no, I'm definitely in bind mode. Hold on. There we go. There. Okay, so we now have Nightshade generating mana, or it should be at least. Yep, it is. And the mana spreader should be giving it to the mana pool, or this diluted mana pool anyway, very shortly. So we are off to the races. Now we just need to play a waiting game while we wait for that to generate. Hopefully it won't take too long, but I guess we'll find out. Um, let's also go ahead and make a little bit more living stone because I'm going to need it for a few different things. We'll just go ahead and surround that. There we go. Is this thing generating? Is it? Or is it? I'm, I'm guessing it's just that slow. All right, guys, I am back. While I'm waiting on that to generate, I realize I can go ahead and make this wand and a little bit of glass and then that will allow me to do the next thing in our quest line for Thongcraft. So let's go ahead and do that right away as well. We need the uh, thermometer. There we go. Oh, I need a couple of... Uh, we'll use those. It doesn't matter, you can use any type of shard, if I remember correctly. There we go. So now I now have... Oh. Chupacabra. Hello, thank you. Practical magic. I now have all of this stuff. And that gives us an aura node. Which is pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. We're going to put that up here. And I think I'm just going to put it right there. And then... We can examine it, and it looks like it's a pretty good node altogether. Uh, we'll drain some of our stuff out of it. Drain some of that. Uh, I believe it's called Essentia or something like that. Aspects. I don't know. Either way, we're going to drain a bit. And I'm going to leave it right there because I want it to be able to fully regenerate without any worries since it... Basically, we'll just sit there and make my life easier. So, that's done. Next, memory fragments. We would need an ethereal essence. Okay. Throw the memory fragment to gain one of every aspect. Unlocking everything to be scanned. That sounds pretty ridiculously overpowered. Not that I would complain. Uh, let's see. Do we have any mana yet? We do. Good. Hopefully, we can now get the next level of mana pool. Let's find out if we've got enough. I'm really hoping we do. Because as soon as we can get some mana into this mana pool, then we're basically set. Because I can use that uh, Black Lotus and get an entirely full mana pool just like that. And that's that that's a huge amount of mana, guys. Like, that's an insane amount of mana. So that would be awesome. That'll allow me to craft all sorts of really useful things that I just can't have right now. Um, we've got our wand. I don't think there's really a whole lot we can do right now while I'm waiting for that. So let's give that a little bit of time, and I'll be back with you in a moment. All right, guys, I am back. And one thing I totally didn't notice is I've got a whole bunch of these quests that I have not actually 
that I've completed but haven't actually claimed. So we're going to do all of these. These are all from the Botania line. The next one is the Nightshade. And I just need a Nightshade in my inventory. So I think if I pick this up... Oh, it says I need five of them. Oh, wow, that's a lot of Nightshades. Uh, I might pass on that one for the time being. That's a lot of Nightshades. Oh. Let's do that, just for now. Um, hmm. Because I don't think I have the stuff to make five Nightshades. I should have gone Purple Flowers if I was going to do that. Oh, that's a pity. Um, hmm. Let me think about this for a little bit, guys, and then I'll come back. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I am probably going to go ahead and do that for Botania, but I'm going to need a lot of black flowers and stuff first. In the meantime, I do now have enough to make a full-blown mana pool. So, let's start using that. We just need a tiny little bit to actually appear in there, and then we will be set. So, let's wait on that for a bit. I'm going to see if I can get a couple more black, um, black nightshades made. Nightshades, that's the word I was looking for. I'm going to see if I can get some more of those made, guys. And then I'll be back with you in a moment. All right, guys, I am back. I wasn't able to make enough nightshades, but we do have a little bit of mana left in this pool. And that means when we throw that in, that thing should essentially fill right up. Maybe. Did that not work? It doesn't look like it did. I threw the Black Lotus in. It should have generated a huge amount of mana. Oh, I hope it... Oh, no. Well, there goes that plan. I can't believe that didn't work. That thing should basically be full. Um, let me try... Let me just see if I can throw an Ender Pearl in there. Because if I can, then it might just be that the graphic itself... Oh, no. No, maybe it is. Maybe it's fuller than it looks. Weird. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Um, either way, I should now be able to make myself a... Runic Altar. And then we also need a Mana Tablet, which is right here. And that would be a second Ender Pearl. Which are a lot easier to get than diamonds, I must say. Oh no, that one won't fit. So the Black Lotus failed. That's a... That is a pity. I don't really know what to do about that, guys. Um, maybe Drastic Demise, the mod pack creator, disabled the abilities or significantly nerfed the Black Lotus... Because if you do find one, it is basically easy mode, to be fair. Uh, at least as far as getting started goes. But that's a... That is... That makes me sad, for sure. I was very looking forward to having some stuff done. Now it's going to be a lot more work than what I had anticipated. Um... Oh, man, that's too bad. Well... Uh, I'm stuck. Come on, get through. There we go. In the meantime, we do have... A whole bunch more reputation. So let's just go ahead and unlock some more stuff. Let's go to our dark powers and let's see what we can get. Um, we do have pretty much everything here except for quarry. But we don't really need quarry. Um, we've got repeatable quests up here. All sorts of a mob inhibitors. What do these do? Slaying so many mobs has given me an idea on how I may block them from spawning. Aha! Uh -huh. This place gathers enough strength to spawn mobs regardless of light levels every eighth day. And these may help. That is news to me. Okay. So... Does that mean that... You know what? We've got plenty of dark power. This is what we're going to go for. 
And I'm going to go manual submit. We'll go the hostile mob inhi inhibitor. Claim it. And I don't know what the range on this thing is. But I'm going to put it right in the middle of the base, which would be oh, right about there. Now, I don't know if this actually... I'll have to do some research as to how that thing actually works. But still, that's... And that is a repeatable quest, so that might be something very useful for us. Let's also see about getting this healing aura quest. I think that could be really useful. And we'll see what that opens up. That opens up... Eh... Uh, hmm... Not a whole lot. I was hoping that would open up the next... Oh, wrong button. I was kind of hoping that would open up the next level. But uh, that didn't seem to be the case. So for now... We'll just put a bunch of this stuff back and call it good, I guess. Although maybe I need, now that I'm looking at this, I bet I need both of these to unlock this one and so on and so forth. So what about shield? Shield is 10 dark power? Sure, we'll do that one too. And then that unlocks Mark and Recall by noting my current location to the spell mark I can... Oh, this lets me teleport. Oh. Okay, we're definitely getting that one, like, very, very soon. That will come in so useful. Oh, I can't wait to have that. All right, well, we got some new abilities. We got a little bit into Botania, although not as much as I was hoping since our black lotus, our black uh, lotus flower didn't work the way I, I had thought it was going to. But guys, I think that is all that we have time for in this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.